The trial date for Donald Trump in the classified documents case has been set for May the 20th of next year. That is the start date and the trial could continue weeks, potentially even months. And that makes the timing rather loaded because that will come towards the end of the primaries that will be underway. The primaries are election processes in all the U.S. states where the Republican Party members pick their candidate who then feeds their choices into the National Assembly and that will be due to be held at that convention in July of next year. So this uh, process of the trial in May comes towards the end of that six-month process. The primaries begin in January in Iowa and New Hampshire and then continue until June. And this can have some consequences for Donald Trump personally, not just by way of image, but by way of logistics. Uh, as the defendant there, he will be required to be present during the trial. So from May and right up to June, and then following that up to potentially the convention itself in July, Trump may be preoccupied with this case rather than with uh, pursuing his own uh, candidature in the Republican Party. Now, this can have a lot of consequences on people's choices and that can cut either way. So far, it has gone Trump's way. The more he faces charges, the more charges he faces, the greater the support for him. He is well ahead of his nearest rival DeSantis in the Republican polls. This trial will be presided over by Judge Eileen uh, Cannon, and she is a judge who has been picked by Trump. She was his nominee, and there were questions, of course, about any possible leanings as a consequence of that. Not necessary that, of course, that will follow, and the fact that she has been picked by this Democrat government could even suggest that the government has great confidence in its case and that the prosecution case is so strong that they believe even a Trump nominee will give an award in line with their argument and in support of their case. The case, uh, by the looks of it, is very strong. We have evidence and we've all seen photograph evidence of whole piles of classified documents that have been kept at uh, Trump's uh, house in Mar-a-Lago in Florida. And these include uh, documents that are also highly classified that are categorized as very dangerous should they fall into the hands of some enemy or so even potentially some neutral outsider who could then uh, circulate these in ways never intended. And uh, this has been uh, evidence that has uh, confronted the whole nation. So far, that has not worked against Trump. But as the case were to proceed, uh, once the trial begins, we may have new findings and allegations surface. This then will call into question the credibility of a Donald Trump as candidate. But clearly, there is a very firm evidence against Donald Trump here that he will face. And this still may not be the end of it. It may just be the beginning. We know that Trump has been indicted also in the Stormy Daniels case, the porn star who was paid uh, for services uh, to Trump. And the payments are alleged to have been covered up in ways not legal. And that's an accounting issue where the illegality has been alleged by the prosecution. And then again, next week, we are going to have a determination whether Trump should be indicted in the January 6th uh, rioting case. Certainly, Trump himself expects to be indicted in that case. And that still may not be it. Next month, we will have findings from an investigation into charges that Trump sought to interfere with the electoral process in Atlanta, Georgia. And if that leads to an indictment, that further will lead to a process where a trial will have to be set. So we could be seeing potentially a trial uh, involving uh, Donald Trump in four cases, uh, very likely next year. And if that were to happen, that would be uh, quite a mess for Trump, uh, quite a mess for us all to watch and uh, quite a challenge to handle by way of these trials and these cases proceeding in parallel 